So you don't know what it means to have an epic skeleton with a full control rig. Not a problem. Now assuming that you listened to my advice and just straight up used the exact Unreal 5 skeleton for your character, the easiest way to get a control rig is to copy the original rig that comes out of Unreal 5, paste it, double click it, and then on the right under preview mesh, replace it with your character. You're done. Now these next two tricks I learned from 3D Education with JC, so definitely check out his video if you want a more thorough explanation on this. But the most important things you need to know are if your character's proportions are slightly different from the original mannequin, then on the right under the node editor, hold alt and left click to detach the rig. Then select the controllers that are a bit off, right click, and set offset to closest bone. Then you can reattach the rig and it should be fine. If you want to move the position of the visual controller without moving the pivot point, you can hold control and press period to move the controller without moving the origin. And if your rig is slightly different from the original, for example mine has extra boob and butt bones, then on the left side click the root, right click, refresh, and pick your character's proper skeleton. And you should see the skeleton show up. You can always check to see if your bones and controllers are in the right position by going up to the node editor, detaching, and reattaching the rig. And again, if you see anything off, you can use the snap to closest bone trick from the beginning of the video. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.